Hey guys, Matt back from freesaloneducation.com. I hope you guys are enjoying these step-by-step -step videos. I got another one for you guys. This one is focused on razor cutting. Um, I did have a request from a client last night that kind of inspired this haircut. Um, I wanted to create, they wanted a big change, and we all know that when clients say they want a big change, it really means that they don't want to take very much off, but they want something different. Uh, today, what I did for you guys was this, the haircut that you're seeing a lot of, which is the shoulder length, uh, kind of, let's call it a long bob. I don't really think they're a bob. It's more of a layered haircut. So shoulder length, um, then it drops down in the front. So when you look at them from the front, it appears to be a longer haircut. And then um, when you look at it in the back, it's a nice shattered layered look. Um, we did it with a razor uh, with the Donald Scott carving comb, something that is available on freesaloneducation.com. It's a really cool tool. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use that as well. Um, here is our end result. Um, this is with it kind of curled up so the length isn't as long but you can see how it's shattered and layered in the back. Um, I love that part about it and then it dips down into the front. It's got those longer pieces. We kept a longer bang on the cut so that uh, she'd be able to kind of utilize that length as well. Um, so those are the things I really love about the haircut. I show it to you straight and I show it to you with this wavy version so you can really get an idea of what it looks like both ways. I hope you guys like this. Make sure that you comment. Uh, really, these videos are fueled by what you guys say in the comments and how you're feeling about the videos that I'm creating. So make sure that you let me know what you think. Also hit the like button and hit the share button and share this with all of your hairdresser friends out there because um, I really appreciate you guys all doing that. Um, but thank you so much for watching and uh, here we go with our step-by-step -step cut. All right guys, so we're gonna start off by changing the blade of our carving comb. If you guys aren't familiar with what a carving comb is, it, it, it's one of my favorite tools. We're gonna be using it the entire haircut today. Uh, the one side has a full cutting side and the other side cuts 50% of the hair. So it's great for texturizing. We're also using the Donald Scott Prepare, which is a liquid tool glide. The great thing about this product is that it adds condition to the hair and it adds a nice slip to the hair. So when you're razor cutting, it keeps the hair nice and healthy. All right, so let's go over the sectioning. We started off by a using a left-hand side parting, that's where she's gonna part her hair. Then we created a horseshoe section based off of that parting down to behind the ear. And now I'm gonna take a vertical section down center back, clip away the right side, and start working on the left side. Uh, the best part about using a carving comb is that I'm gonna go through here with a heavy stroke of the carving comb using the 100% carved side. Um, what that's gonna do is create um, layers within the haircut without actually having to elevate. So it's really a freedom tool for me. Um, I, you guys know that I do like to do precision cutting, but sometimes there's haircuts that warrant a little more freedom, and I love this tool for that. I'm going through with the 50% carved side now just to soften the ends of the haircut. We can go in, I'm gonna show you guys some techniques later in dry cutting with the carving comb that uh, will also soften the ends as well. Now. We're over directing the hair back, just taking vertical sections. This is the greatest part about the carving comb as well, is that uh, these haircuts happen so fast. So um, it's a great tool for creating this type of look um, quickly. So uh, just vertical sections, working them back, using our previously cut back section as our guide, using a little bit of elevation at this point, um, just so that we don't have the hair too heavy as it falls forward. So razor cutting is just like cutting with scissors uh, when it comes to elevation because the more you elevate the hair, the more weight you're going to remove. So because I'm over directing the hair all the way back, that means I'm going to push a lot of weight forward. So if I give it a little bit of elevation, it's going to give me uh, a little bit lighter result as the hair falls forward. So that is pretty much the wet cut, guys. That's how quick it happens with a carving comb. Uh, that's why it's a great tool for the salon. Now we're going to throw in Bricado Active. It's a serum. Um, really going to make the hair soft and shiny. You can see the shine, how quick it happens uh, in the blow dry. A little bit of a flat wrap. What I want to show you guys is we're going to do some texturizing techniques with a razor. Yes, on dry hair. And I know that freaks some of you out. But here's the deal. You can cut dry with a razor because we put a fresh blade in um, that's why we can do it if if i didn't have a fresh blade and i had a, 
you know, I've done multiple haircuts with a blade. You can't cut dry. But because this blade is so sharp, it's, it's sharper than my scissor blade. So we're actually going to go through, this is what we call point cutting with a carving comb. The cool thing about this is you just, you're working both sides of the tool. Um, it's skinnying out the ends, and it gives it a nice soft feel just by working that razor back and forth uh, on top of your fingers. This is great for men's cutting. You can use this technique um, on pretty much any type of haircut uh, just to soften ends and add a lot of texture. So we're going through the back, pretty much holding the hair where we had it. Um, again, a razor is a, a freedom tool, so we're going to go through and, and really cut the hair where we feel like it needs to be cut. So I'm going through just pinching the ends, a little bit of pinch cutting. You can see how soft that falls. Um, it's such a nice shape, and it happens, and it's created so quickly. That's the amazing part about a razor. So now I'm just going to take a triangle out of the front, and I'm going to do a slide cut with the razor to create a nice soft fringe in the front of the haircut. Using the razor kind of like a pencil, it's, it's really, it's an artist tool, I believe. Um, you know, just going through, softening where we need to soften, cutting where we need to cut, and going through. But you can see how cool that shape is. But how soft it is around the edges um, is what makes this cut stand out. So now we're going to go through with a curling iron. I'm just going to take vertical sections all the way around the head, leaving the ends out um, because I want to keep the ends straighter looking. And I'm just adding a little bump to the base of the hair. This is a really modern style. It definitely gives your clients a more versatile feel. So um, I'm going through. You might have seen me twist the curling iron one way, then go back the other way. I'm creating texture in this style. I'm not really trying to keep it too uniform, so I'm not worried about that. So I clip away the fringe because in the bang area, I'm going to actually go a little bit more, um, more elevation on that. I don't want it to fall flat, so I section that away. I go through, curl everything else, um, then I'll go through and do the, the bangs at the end. All right, guys, so as I finish up these, this haircut and the style, um, I just want to let you guys know that the carving comb is available on freesaloneducation.com. It's such a cool tool, and it's honestly, I think, like $35. So uh, definitely go on, check that out. You can also get it with the prepare spray as well, um, so you can try that out. I hope you guys like this style. If you do, please do me a favor, share it with your friends. Um, that's all these videos cost is a share. So just send it out there, share it with your friends, uh, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to our channel. There'll be a lot more videos to come. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know again what you think and uh, I'll keep creating videos for you guys. All right, thanks.